Hello, Clayton Baum is here, and I'm your teacher with our video classroom here at Synmax University at SynmaxPerformanceLubricants.com. Now, the reason we're here today is to, to determine simple engine coolant system performance measurements. So, and I want you to download this because there's some information that I might not go over, and I want you to look at the details. Say, so Clayton, what's this presentation all about? Well, you'll see... In, a, in another one that I did, that we had a uh, um, multi-million dollar racing team giving me telemetries. I had a high-tech engineering firm in Detroit that did, you know, a $100,000 test and, and others. I said, Clayton, well, I don't have that kind of money. Well, the key here is this. I know what it's like to be in racing, and I know what it's like to try to chase after something. This is a way, instead of spending $50,000 to try to get something done, for 50 bucks in a heat radar gun, you can be able to find it out yourself, but you need to know where to look. That's what we're here for. Why is that, Clayton? Well, the fact, the fact is simple. If you actually know what's going on in these particular areas, then you can make a determination to where the positive or negatives are that you have to fix. I'm just here to show you how to get the data. And then you can make the determination yourself. Now, here's how it goes. First, uh, now we want to try to have a repeatability, okay? When you go out and you go racing and you come in, all right, then, then you take your measurements before you get a heat soak and you get that taken care of, all right? And then let it cool down. Try to have two or three sets of numbers so that you can have a consistency and repeatability. The optimum temperature to be able to do this is at 85 degrees. Why 85 degrees, Clayton? Because that's when, when, when the nucleic boil happens within the engine, within the coolant system. So here we go. Now, get your piece of paper, write this down. I want you to, to take the measurement at the thermostat area, your cylinder head. If this was our radiator, okay, this is a cadaver radiator, okay? The inlet temperature, the outlet temperature, okay? If we had a oil cooler, the inlet and the outlet on the oil cooler. We'll get into all this in a minute. Remember, temperature measurement is more than just the probe that's coming off the cylinder head. Clayton, it's running at 190. Well, there's other parts of the engine that might be running hotter. We have to discover what's going on. Furthermore, we have to understand that the center part of the engine is going to be running hotter than the outer edges as well. So as I said one more time, we want you to be able to do it at the thermostat, the inlet and the outlet of the radiator, to take those measurements. Also the water cooler. If you have a water cooler, in and out. That's here on the illustration. The key is to discover if the water chemistry is actually working. If you're not moving heat from the engine through the radiator, if it's not cooler coming back into the engine, something's wrong. That means your chemistry isn't doing its job or the engineering isn't doing its job. That's what you're to find out. Why? Because racers are on a budget and they, you know, you just can't throw st answers or problems. You have to know what you're going after. Why? Because you don't have a modern car where you can just, you know, plug it in. Unless you got one of them race cars, that's really nice. But as late model guys, you know, we got to wing it from our hip. So, one of the performance measurements we want to have is what's called the delta T. That means the difference from the inlet to the outlet, and then you're going to know how much it's actually cooling. If you're using a product like the Synmax, a water cooler product, you are going to be having a temperature difference of about 35 or about 40 degrees difference. Now here's the deal. If you're not having 35 to 40 degrees difference inside of the radiator, no matter what treatment you're using, you need to really consider what's going on. Okay? Now, next. The other thing that we have to be, the, the delta T difference is going to show is the efficiency of the fins that are going in. We have to make sure that the tubes are clean in the inside. We have to make sure that there is uh, uh, of the fluids moving through and there's maximum amount of air going through for the heat transfer. 
If the fins are full of contamination and minerals and rust and garbage and corrosion, how do you expect it to do its job? That's where a quality chemistry comes in, which we believe would be the water cooler. So, we, so when you measure the difference, then you're going to know if the radiator is doing its job. That's the measurement goal of that. So the key is that we're trying to do here is this. We want to do these measurement goals so that you can be able to find out what the thermostat, the head, the radiator, and everybody is doing for you. And it's very simple. And if you got those answers, then you'll be able to come up with your solutions, either to know what you're doing is right or know how to fix what you got going on. So this is Clayton Balmas here with Sidmax University at sinmaxperformancelubricants.com, and I'll see you at our next session. Bye now.